Hello everyone, this is Om from Civil Center and welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional and for that we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then go ahead and subscribe that now because on our channel you can find a lot of videos related to Tecla structures, Revit structures and then Tecla structural designer. So there are a lot of videos over there which you can just go ahead and watch then you will also find a lot of theoretical videos like uh, where is the seismic zone what is clear cover and all the things that is related to buildings okay and if you want to know how we are providing our professional trainings then you can also go ahead and watch the reviews of our students and if you are interested in joining the professional training then you can simply go ahead and join that now so guys before starting the video, there is just one request that if you like this video, then hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Okay, so in the last video on our channel, that was about what? It was about the attributes. So we have generated the drawings and we are working on it on attributes. So we are just going to go ahead of that and for that we are going to open the document manager where we have generated the drawings modified it and now we are going to update the last drawing that we have used okay so i'm just going to open it and uh, you can see it is creating the geometry now and it will open up in just a moment okay now the drawing has been generated in the background and we can see over here that we have a lot of things that you can see like uh, we have each and everything and what are the profiles of those things are visible over here now i have modified it a little bit and you can see how we can see the volts and everything so we are going to learn how we can modify each and everything over here so for that i am just going to click on the title of this drawing so this is the standard one okay so in the last video i have used the 3d drawing now i am using the standard word but the procedure is the same Okay, every time you will click on it, it will open up the view properties dialog box for you and over here, you can just start making the changes. So I will just uh, drag it to the left and then I will drag it over here so that whatever the changes I am making, I will just show you on the left side. Okay, now in the attributes, everything has been clarified and now it's time to learn about the filters. There are many options like in the filter type, we have this view filter, selection filter, object representation. In the drawing, we have all drawing tabs, uh, then the current drawing type, then, then selection filter. Okay, then in the other, we have the organizer. Okay, so if you want to add some row over here, then you can simply add some row. Okay, so like this, you can just go ahead. Now, if you want to just... Uh, change anything like you want to change some profile like you want to choose it on the basis of the profile then you can just keep it like this then if you want to choose it on the basis of material if you want to choose it on the basis of the names so each and everything you can just find from here okay now i will just keep it profile equals to and now i have to just give a profile so either i can just go ahead and give a profile over here or I can select it from the drawing. So we will learn all the methods. Okay. So first of all, let's uh, learn how to select it from the drawing. So I'm just going to select, suppose this member. Okay. So this profile, I'm just going to select. Okay. Now I will click on modify and we'll see what changes it is making. So you can see now I have only those profile which are having U160 into 100 into five okay so i have only these profiles now if i want to just uncheck it and check another one that is w i uh, w1315 20 by 300 okay so i'm just going to click on modify and you will see how this is being changed over here so like this you can simply go ahead and modify the changes and you can just select everything on the basis of that now suppose you want something else like uh, I suppose say add another row over here and in that row let's uh, go for the selection of the property according to name okay so we will have to simply find the option name over here then in this I'm just going to select it from the drawing or I can simply just write it over here you can use any of the method okay so I'm just going to write it so that it can also be like uh, clarified to you 
ओके नाउ डेट आई हैव नेम्ड इट एज कॉलम्स देन ओनली माय कॉलम्स आर विजिबल ओवर हियर नथिंग एल्स ओके नाउ इफ यू वांट टू जस्ट अनचेक इट देन आई कैन जस्ट डू इट बाय सिंगल क्लिक ओवर देयर एंड देन आई विल क्लिक ऑन मॉडिफाई एंड माय ड्राइंग विल बी मॉडिफाइड एंड इट विल गो बैक टू इट्स ओरिजिनल पोजीशन in just a moment okay so guys we have learned about how you can use the filters in tecla structures if you want to learn more about this then you have to just do one thing stay tuned to our channel subscribe it and hit the like button if you like this video also the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever i upload a new video over here till then take care bye bye thank you